Now, talking about the second concept to the diagonal relationship of beryllium and aluminium, it brings our mind to reaction, reaction of this element, okay, which is beryllium and aluminium with HNO3, which is called hydrogen trioxonitric five acid, or popularly called nitric acid or aqua fortis. Now, this element reacts with what now? HNO3. They react with HNO3. Unlike other elements of their group members, which do not react. Now, the Third concept of beryllium and aluminium, the concept is that they they react with alkali. Okay, they react with alkali. They react with alkali. Now, what is an alkali? An alkali is a basic soluble hydroxide. Okay, they react with alkali to liberate hydrogen gas. So they react with alkali to liberate hydrogen. Gas okay, they react with alkali to like liberate hydrogen gas. Whereby the last concept to beryllium and aluminium is that their chlorides are electron deficient. Okay, the chlorides of beryllium and aluminium are what now electron deficient, like likes of B, E, C, L, and A, L, C, L, 3. Okay, their chlorides are electron deficient. Now, let me talk about the last concept, which is boron and silicon, their diagonal relationship. Now, now the diagonal relationship seen in boron and silicon first thing first they are both metalloids metalloids are elements found in between the midway of being a metal and a non-metal and the other concept about boron and silicon is that their hydrides are usually unstable okay their hydrides are unstable and also they are volatile The hydrides are unstable and they are volatile. Okay? They are volatile and also they form weak acidic solutions. Okay? They form weak acidic solution. Now, the hydride for boron and silicon, you see, likes of borane and silane. Okay, the borings and silane. Now, the general formula for silane is this S I N H 2 N plus 2. So, this is the general formula for silane. An example of a compound, for, example of an hydride of silane, of silicon rather, you see, likes of S H 4. Okay, that's one hydride for silicon. Okay, and first thing first, the diagonal relationship of boron and silicon is that they are both metal metalloids and their hydride are usually unstable, like likes of boron and silicon, and they form weak acidic solutions. Now, basically, these are the concepts about the diagonal relationship seen in the periodic table. Thanks for watching.